In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Sodium mod for Minecraft 1.21.5 on your Mac. Before we get started, you will need to have Java installed to your Mac, so if you don't have it already, I will leave that guide linked in the description below. The first thing we need to do is to download the correct Minecraft version so we can install Sodium later. To do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher, and then in the version drop down menu, you want to select 1.21.5 and click on play. Once Minecraft opens, this means the files have been downloaded correctly, so you want to click on quit game. And now we can go ahead and download Fabric. To download the Fabric installer, we first need to open our web browser, and you want to go to fabricmc.net, and I'll leave this website linked in the description below. From here, you want to click on the blue download button, and then you want to select the blue download installer, and you want to go ahead and save the Fabric installer to your Mac, and for this example, I'm going to save it to my desktop. We also need to download the Fabric API so our Minecraft mods will work. So to do that, you want to click on the Fabric API link below the blue download button, and this will take you to the CurseForge website. From here, we want to scroll down, and you want to click on the Files tab, and then you want to scroll down again, and you want to find the Fabric API version for the Minecraft version you're trying to play. So for this example, it's going to be 1.21.5, so we're going to select that version, and then you want to scroll down slightly, and you want to click on the black download button. You then be taken to the download screen, and after about 5 seconds, the download should automatically start. Now, you want to go ahead and download the Fabric API to your Mac, and again, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now we've downloaded the Fabric installer and the Fabric API, we just need to download the Sodium mod. So, to do this, you want to open your web browser, and you want to go to any modding website of your choice, and for this example, we are using modriv.com. From here, we're going to scroll down, and you want to select Discover Mods, and then you should see the Sodium mod near the top. So we're going to tap into that, and once you're inside the modding webpage, you want to click on the versions tab, and then you want to scroll down and you want to find the version of Moderinth for the version of Minecraft you're playing. So again, it's going to be 1.21.5. It's important that it has the fabric tag, which it does. So we're going to select this version, and then we're going to select the green download button, and again, we're going to save this to our Mac, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. So now we have the Fabric installer, the Fabric API, and the Sodium mod downloaded, we just need to install Fabric. So to do this, you want to double tap on the Fabric installer, and if you get this error message, it means you need to approve it in the system settings. So to do this, you want to click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner, and then you want to select System Settings. Once you're inside System Settings, you want to scroll down until you find Privacy and Security. Now you want to scroll all the way down until you find the Fabric installer and you want to click on open anyway. Now you want to select open anyway, and then you need to use your Mac password or touch ID. After a few seconds, the fabric installer will open and it will look like this. From here, you want to make sure you're on the client tab at the very top, and you want to make sure your Minecraft version is 1.21.5. For the loader version, we can keep this the same, and you want to make sure create profile has been selected. Once we are ready, you want to click on install. After a few seconds, this will be successfully installed, so you want to click on OK, and now we can exit out of the Fabric Installer, and you can delete it from your Mac if you'd wish to do so. To install the Fabric API and Sodium mod, we first need to open the Minecraft Launcher, and then you want to click on the Installations tab at the very top, and you should see the Fabric Loader. If you don't see this, you may need to restart your Minecraft Launcher. From here, you want to click on the File icon next to the Fabric Loader, and when the Finder opens, you want to search for the Mods folder. Now, if you don't see this, you may need to create a new one. So to do that, you want to click on the circle icon at the top, and you want to click on New Folder, and you simply want to rename it Mods. Now we've done this, we can go inside of the Mods folder, and then you want to drag and drop the Fabric API and the Sodium mod into the Mods folder like this. Now they've been installed, we can exit out of the Finder, and now we want to go ahead and play Minecraft with our mods. So you want to click on the Play tab at the very top, and then in the version drop down menu, you want to select Fabric Loader, and then you want to click on Play. Once Minecraft has loaded, we will know we've installed our Fabric mods correctly because it will say mods in the bottom left hand corner. Now to access the Sodium mod, you want to click on Options, and then you want to click on Video Settings, and you'll see they have successfully changed to the Sodium video settings. Generally speaking, if you want to get better performance, you want to lower your render distance and simulation distance. So now we've installed Sodium, we want to click on Done, and now we can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with Sodium just as we normally would. And that's it, so if this video is helpful please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.